Hi. So um, today we're going to look at the um, uh, ocean uh, ocean signals uh, MOB1, which is a um, uh, AIS uh, man over board uh, device that you can attach to your um, uh, life jacket. Uh, we're going to look at what's in the box. This is the one. So we open up the box, and inside we find some interesting things. One is the manual, which is uh, not very good, um, but we'll see later. Then we have the device itself, the MOB1, like this. And then we have a lot of things in a little plastic bag here, but the most important thing for now is the little black thing here. Let's see if we can get it out. Little black thing here. This is the rubber needed for the um, for the programming. Okay, so uh, let's see how we uh, how we program the uh, mob one uh, with the uh, ship's uh, MMSI number. So in order to do this, uh, you must have a uh, MMSI number uh, of your vessel. Uh, I have what mine here uh, on my. Uh, on my man overboard uh, procedure, uh, so, and then we need to go online uh, to uh, find the software uh, that is needed to uh, program the uh, MOB. So to um, program our mob one we need to go into ocean signals uh, website and then we need to find the mob1 and then on the mob1 uh, website uh, you scroll down until you find until you find configure mob1 website for that and then we go down here, they have two options. Uh, you have either, you can install it for a uh, PC, or for me, I have an iPad, so you can uh, you can uh, select that one. So here you enter your MSI number, so I'll enter my MSI number, mm -hmm. 024921, and then it says next, and then it asks us to validate, that means you have to enter it one more time. Just to make sure that it's the correct number we entered. Zero two four nine two one, and then we say validate. And now validation complete, and now it's ready. And then there's a lot here about flashes and everything. Yeah, so we will have to see uh, how to do that. Program the um, uh, the MOP one, and to do that, you need the little rubber thing from the uh, from the that comes with the set. And of course the MOB, and you slide it open here, and you get a test button and a, a little uh, LED display, and you press the test button, and you need to press it for about 15 seconds. First, it will start flashing red, and then it goes on to flashing green, and when it starts to flash green, in a second. You let go of the button, and then you fix the rubber thing so the uh, little hole is over the window there, like that. And then we put it on to the web base. We have already programmed it here, so we're going to press program on one, and then you put the thing on here, the MOB1, onto the screen. Hold it. You might have to do this a few times. Um, to get it programmed, uh, but we'll see after we have finished this 100% in a second. Okay, then we look at it. See, it's flashing red. That means uh, no good. We have to do it one more time. Okay, and then you look at it, and it's flashing green. That means successful uh, programming. Okay, so uh, after you programmed your mob. Uh, one then uh, there's two tests that you can do you can do a uh, DSC test where the mop when activated will send a DSC routine call to your VHF radio 
and the other test you can do is the uh, AIS transmission test uh, where uh, when activated the uh, MOB will send out an AIS signal uh, with its, uh, its pre-programmed MMSI number which is on the back of the uh, back of the unit so now we have programmed this uh, MOB one unit and we're, we're gonna do a test we're gonna do the DSC test and uh, to do that uh, you're gonna slide this open and then you press the test button uh, for about five seconds it will start flashing red as you can see here and when it gets to stable red constant red you let go and then the signal will come up here and it's perfect and then to turn it off you just press one second on the uh, test button That's it. Okay, so now we just send a uh, test DSC signal from this unit and on the back of the unit you have the MMSI number of this unit so now we're going to go in on my uh, radio into the DSC lock and we this was a true routine call so we're going to check here and we have an individual call, which is the latest latest one. We're going to enter that, have a look at that, and it says nine two, sorry nine seven two, which is uh, indicating their mop unit, and then the number is six zero nine three hundred. So that's correct. So this is this unit. Send us uh, a DE routine call. Perfect. Okay, so the last uh, last test we uh, we will do on the uh, MOB one is the AIS transmission test. And to do that test again, we go in, we slide open the uh, the red um, slider, and then we press the uh, test button. It will start flashing, and after some time, it will go steady. And then when it starts to flash again, you let go. Now it's important for this test is to be open to sky, so we go open to sky. Eight green, eight green flashes, and you can also hear now our AIS alarm. So let's go down and have a look at that. So let's see. So here we have the number nine seven two six zero nine two nine seven, and that is the the unit's number. We can get info on that. So here we have the number of the unit. And then up on the display we have the same number here, so that's how we can uh, find uh, find our man over board. Okay, so now I have programmed programmed all these MOB uh, one so with uh, our MMSI number, and uh, the next video I'm gonna make is how to fit the MOBs inside the um, inside the uh, life jackets uh, uh, from Heli Hansen. So watch this space and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.